Hey everybody, it's Bruce from Nature Calls, and I've uh, got my new counter assault bear spray that goes 40 feet. Uh, counter assault just sent this to me. Uh, the other bear sprays that have been out, the ones that I've been using, have gone 30 feet at most. So I thought about doing a video for this. It dawned on me that I have bear spray on me almost all the time. Uh, when I did mail for a year, I always had bear spray on me. They're much smaller, um, and I did use it and uh, mainly on dogs. But out here where I live, not uh, a mile from where my route was, a couple guys riding their bikes, they were uh, tackled by a cougar and one guy got killed. And we also had a goat that killed somebody like two years ago. Uh, we got wolves, we've got bobcats, we have bears, we've got everything around here. And I'm not in the middle of nowhere, but I'm just in one of those cities where populations that have encroaching and the animals are being preserved. Uh, like they flew a bunch of goats over here to the mountain from the Olympics. Uh, they're reintroducing wolves. So there's lots, there's lots and lots. We have coyotes running around all the time. So there's lots of potential uses for this. And also when I'm out fly fishing, like in a river like this, I found it really hard to have bear spray on me. So we'll go over some of the mounts that they have. But the key to this is that it goes 40 feet and I've used bear spray and the further you can stop away, stop taking this on two backpacking trips so far this year, um, the Chelan trip and my Talpas uh, Tenkara fishing one. Um, it had a little neoprene, comes with a neoprene um, carrier with a little carabiner on it. And I think I got a picture of that on my trip. My daughter's out backpacking and she's got that set up right now. Um, so that was one of the key things um, when I went on their site to go look at what they had to offer, they had all these different cool ways to attach it. So not only will it go 40 feet, so now the attachments they give you, they give you the, the nice little neoprene one that comes with it um, that I just hook on my, my shoulder strap. Works perfect. Uh, for fly fishing, they've got this nice, nice one that sits up about like that, kind of like a, like a pistol holster. Um, so this is the, the, show, the one I use for fly fishing. They have a real simple one. It just could go, say, on a belt. Um, it won't go on my backpack strap, my waist belt strap, but it can definitely go on a belt. And then this is the runner version. Um, so that's where guys, if you do bicycling, like those two guys that got nailed by that cougar, um, if they would have had this on or running, because I, I mean, I just, these are all running trails all through the woods out here. Love this running one. Um, it's just great. So now this is all developed um, in conjunction with the University of Montana. Um, you know, Montana has bears. So, so they have grizzlies. We have grizzlies here in Washington too. Um, and it's a capsaicin or some kind of derivative of that. Um, they've got a glow in the dark top piece on it. Plus it's got a cool little bungee cord now that they've never had on this to keep your little lid in tow. So that's a cool little setup. This is 10.2 ounces. I think that when this only shoots 30 feet is like eight ounces. This is their inert if you want to practice. Um, so we had a lot of fun with this um, practicing. And uh, yeah, and then my, my ones I used for mail were something like five ounces. So. Um, this, this definitely has the, the power to shoot the cloud out real far. Now when you use it, you want to get it out, get good control of it, pop the safety clip, and if you can, use two hands to hold it and put it right down on the ground in front of whatever animal it is. You want to create a cloud in front of the animal. You don't want to shoot it up at their face. You want to shoot it down in front of the animal. Definitely watch your wind. Um, if there's wind coming straight at you, you'll probably get it, uh, which that's happened to me. I've been in riots or, um, you know, just make sure that you're, you're pointing it down on the ground in front of their face. Build up that cloud. <laughs> the further away you can stop a dangerous animal or one that's not necessarily dangerous, um, but attacking you for some reason, the better, the better. Just try and get them far away. So the ability to go 40 feet and that's probably no wind um, or with the wind kind of thing, uh, 
This is awesome. I'm very excited about this. All these little additions that they have, they've got some other bear stuff at their site, but um, just fantastic. And uh, I'm real excited about it because stop them before they get to you. Okay, talk to you later. Bye now.